Hello, my name is uh, Ronald Kruijnberg and in this video I would like to show you how to use Python and OData to post records into a HANA database. Um, as of HANA SPS 6 we have the possibility to uh, now also use POST in RESTful services. Uh, in previous releases of the Access Engine as it is called uh, you had the uh, possibility to read records from the HANA database, but now there's also the possibility to even post. And that opens up a tremendous amount of opportunities. Um, in the demonstration I'm going to show you, I'm going to use Python, which is my favorite scripting language. Um, and I'm going to build a small script, which is going to generate some records into the HANA database. So let's start from scratch. So this is the HANA studio, and I've got a very simple table. The table is called birthday. It's got three fields, a last name, a first name, and also a birthday. Uh, you probably should uh, have guessed it by now. What we're going to do is we're going to update this table with my name, my surname, and also my birthday. So this table I have created a service for, which is very easy. So if I click on this service, uh, by the way, if you uh, would like to know how to define these services and these projects, there is an excellent uh, how-to tutorial uh, on the web presented by Thomas Young. And of course, you can also find that in the HANA Academy clips. Um, so this is basically how I define my service. So I gave it a name, uh, I referenced my table, save it, and activate it. Of course, it's already active, so everything is okay so now basically my service is ready so now if I want to um, use Python um, there are a couple of things I need to do um, first of all I'm here in a Linux distro which is my favorite uh, operating system uh, you will have to um, yeah, basically install a couple of components one of them being Python I think that's normally already available in any Linux distro so you probably don't have to do anything for that but what you do need to do is you have to install something called requests uh, and requests is basically a um, yeah a python library which is able to use um, yeah it's able to generate uh, the necessary necessary software to be able to post records into hana now install is very easy you actually just give this command in a terminal window um, I already did that before, so it's probably going to say that it doesn't need to be installed, but let's give it a go. Um, yeah, so it's already done, but this is basically it. So this is basically how you, uh, how you would install it. Um, so now let's get to our script. So I already prepared something for you because you don't want to see me type. Um, this is basically my script. So what do I have? I have import requests. So that is exactly that library which I was uh, just referring to. Um, I'm going to mention JSON because actually we use JSON as a format to post the records into the HANA database. And this is also the only format for post which is supported. For read, you could also have XML for instance. Um, this is my URL and this is actually referencing my service which I just created. Uh, as you can see the alert or services here and it's called birthday. That's also what is mentioned here. Uh, alert or services birthday. So that's the, the part to my um, to my service. So if I would actually fire that off in the web um, it was going to prompt me for a username and password. Um, no, it's not because I was already logged on but in any case you will see that uh, I'm able to um, uh, to go into that URL, uh, let's uh, take a brief look. Um, so, question mark, uh, dollar sign format is JSON. There is no results in my table because my table is basically empty. Um, so, yeah, there's no result. So, what will happen if I uh, my script so again this is my URL uh, this is my payload and of course a payload is very important because that contains basically the records uh, or my yeah, let's say the content of my uh, of my record so I'm using first name because that was also referenced in the table last name and birthday and you can see that in the um, in the modeler uh, where's my table again just briefly going to show you that again 
So first name, last name, birthday. Um, so first name Ronald, which is me, last name Kornijnenburg, and this is my birthday. Well, that might look a bit exotic, uh, but it's actually my um, my birthday uh, in a Unix timestamp. Um, and because um, yeah, Odata is using that type of, uh, of of reference or that type of field definition, I have to put it in like this. Um, yeah, which is not a not a problem. You just have to know how to do it. And that's it. Uh, header, that's very important because the header is something which is uh, mandatory when you're going to use a uh, service which uses post because otherwise yeah, it cannot be recognized. So you have to have this put into place which identifies the header of the service. You have to put in the authorization. So this is basic authorization. So this is my user's name and this is my password. And then last but not least, this is actually the URL which will be, or the little piece of code which will be fired off. So it contains my URL, my payload, my headers and my authorization. And I will also get some text back if it's successful or not. So let's give that a go. So let's go into the place where my, um, my Python script is located. Um, Don't have to pseudo it. Python birthday punt dot pi. That's how I called it. Birthday dot pi. Now let's fire it off. And there we go. So I don't get any error messages, and that's basically good news because it actually posted something. And as you can see, it also formatted my um, yeah my my Unix time into a normal readable time, which you see here. So if I now go back into my uh, HANA studio and I display the contents, you will see that I have one record. And that is indeed my birthday, the 5th of November, 1975. Now, if we go back to our web, guess what? There will be one record. So uh, you can see that it's actually imported the um, yeah, the record from the HANA database. So there's only one record in the database or in this, in this table. And that's the one we just posted. And as you can see, it is there. Thank you very much for your, uh, for your attention. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial and uh, till next time.